Okay folks, I'm making pot pie and I'm making pot pie for a crowd. So I'm gonna show you how to make pot pie, but also it's a super simple freezer meal. So I'm gonna show you a massive batch and you freeze whatever your family doesn't eat tonight, okay? It's my mother-in-law's birthday and I'm making dinner and she requested my beef pot pie with cheddar crust. So I'm making it with beef, but over the years I've made this with venison and with meat. Thanks, Freya. So you use whatever red meat you have around. It's a great meal, Freya. How I like to do this meal is that one night we're gonna have a pot roast with potatoes and carrots. I'm gonna make way more than we need. So then the next night I can easily throw down a pot pie. So I'm using this book. Um, this is my starting point. Like never as a recipe do I really make it exactly how they do it, right? Like, but I've now been making it based on this recipe, but my same variation for a long time. So I'm gonna write up how I do this for you because I get asked about it a lot. And I'm not quite sure how big of a recipe. One batch is a nine by 13 pan. I think I might do like three or four. I'm gonna cut up my beef and see how much I have. Okay, so I melted butter and I added flour and it's cooking together for a minute. Now we're gonna add six cups of that broth. Now, this is gonna take a minute for it to come to a simmer, and in the meantime, we're gonna add all our herbs and spices to this. So this is the fun part. You need six cups of vegetables. They can be leftover cooked vegetables, so like, clean out your fridge, yo. What you got in there, it needs to be used up for leftovers or leftovers from with your pot roast, or if you don't have enough of any of those, use frozen vegetables, like one of those bags of frozen mixed vegetables. Perfect. I'm doing a times three batch, so I got six cups of meat, six cups of chopped potatoes, and I'm gonna need six cups of vegetables now. I don't have any leftovers in the fridge. It's gonna be all frozen vegetables for me. So I've got my six cups of different mixed frozen vegetables, and I'm gonna stir this all together and then let this cool down because that gravy was hot even though everything else was cold while I make the crust. Here's what the filling looks like now. You could add even more vegetables if you wanted, but this is a good ratio for us. And you can use whatever. One time all I used was frozen broccoli and it was amazing. What I did here, I just shredded in my butter and my cheese into the flour and salt. I'm gonna mix this all together well and then add water to make it like a biscuit dough. So then we're just gonna add some slits for steam to escape. Don't forget this one. And this last one, I'm gonna cook two and freeze one. It's, I, I 
think we'll probably need two. Well, we should have leftovers. But I'm not quite sure how many people are showing up. So, there we have it. This is what they look like before. And we're gonna put them in the fridge until it's time to bake them. Pizza no, cheese. They don't sit well on the counter because the butter gets so soft Pizza. and then it'll all just melt out. So it's better to throw them in the fridge or even the freezer till you're ready to bake them. Video? I am. <laughs> Look at you this. better eat this your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.